Hello everyone and welcome back to the High Rise Digital YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, and in this video, we're going to look at block templates for custom post types, and that'll become more clear in a second. But before I do, uh, it'd be great if you haven't already subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button below. And of course, if you're liking this video, it always helps us out if you hit that like button, uh, which is also just down below. We've recently just got over a thousand subscribers on the channel, which absolutely blows my mind. So thank you everyone for watching and taking part and engaging with the videos. It really is appreciated. So let's get on with today's video and that is uh, block templates for custom post types. So here is um, a design that I was recently tasked or we were recently tasked to build in uh, WordPress. In fact, it's an ongoing project. And you can see that this is a job and we've got pretty pretty straightforward design. So we've got sort of a black cover section at the top here. We've got then some content down below, etc., and then we've got a footer. So what we really wanted to do was obviously build this in blocks to give the client the most control possible. But we also wanted to make sure that they don't break the layout of this page. So it sticks to this structured layout, which obviously is, is going to make sure that the design stays the same and stays consistent. So how do we do that? Well, in the old fashioned way, I suppose, with WordPress is what you do is you'd create fields for each of these things. things. So this would be the post title, the product man production manager. This would be a location field. We'd have an excerpt field. We'd then have maybe a subtitle field. <clears throat> and then we'd have maybe a, a WYSIWYG box to sort of type the, the job description in. And then we'd have a, um, a button label and a button uh, link, a mail to link in this in, in instance at the bottom here. So um, what we decided to do instead was to use blocks, but we wanted to restrict this. So this is how we went about it. So I was looking around at how to do this and found this page on the developer handbook on WordPress.org. And this is the block editor handbook as well. And it talks about templates and how you can provide templates of blocks for different things. So essentially, you can see here that um, when we're registering a post type, I'm actually just going to skip this bit on the API. I'm going to talk straight down here to custom post types. And um, when we're registering a custom post type, this is a shortened version, but you can see that uh, I'll just zoom in actually so you can see a bit better. We can set a template option. This is a new thing for when the block editor started. Um, and we can give it a template. And the way it works, it's a little bit messy, but it works, is we pass it a massive array of all of the blocks we want to use. And the great thing is, is we can nest these blocks as well. So this, this template is an array, and inside that, each block you want is also an array, and we pass the block name, we pass any arguments or parameters or attributes that we want to set on that block. So in this instance, we're adding an image block, and it's gonna be aligned left. Um, and then we can nest them as well, which I'll talk about in a second. So let's just jump over to my code and we can talk about what I actually did here. So here I've got um, a file in my utility plugin for the post types I'm adding for this particular uh, site. And you can see I'm registering a job post type. So here it's called Dialect Inc. Job. And I'm setting all the usual things, description, whether it's public, whether it's got an archive, blah, 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 all the sort of normal things. And then I've got the labels. I've got that it supports the title and the block editor. I've got that it shows in REST, uh, in the REST API, which is obviously going to make it work in the block editor. And then here is the information that is important to this video. So I'll come back to template lock in a second. Here is the template that I am creating. So this is basically going to pre-populate the editor in WordPress with a set of blocks that I've created the layout for. So to start with, I'm creating a core, a, 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 a group block essentially. Core is the prefix for all the cores, and that means you can also populate it with custom blocks as well, which I'll, um, which is quite straightforward to do. Then the second argument for this uh, block is the parameters. So I'm setting this as a full width group. And I'm setting a style which has got a background color um, of black. So it has a black background by default. Then um, inside that core group, I'm setting another nested array and I'm creating a heading. And this has got some parameters, so I'm making it centered. I'm making sure it's a heading level one, that's H1. 
It has brand white as its text color. We've got a custom palette on this site. So we're setting that custom text color uh, value. We're making sure it's got a, a custom class, which is one of our block styles that we've added for headings. And we're giving it a placeholder so the user sees something on the screen when they actually load the editor so they know what to do. Enter job title here. Um, below that, we've set a paragraph, enter the job location. Again, we've given it the brand white uh, attribute, uh, sorry, text color attribute, and we're setting it to a line center so they all line up in the center like the design. I've then got just a spacer block. Um, this is a weird one. I couldn't get two paragraphs to display next to each other, which is very strange. Um, the, the second one was kind of there but hidden. So that was just my fix. I'm sure there's a way around that, and I'll come to that. Um, just stick a spacer block in there with no height, and it kind of works. Um, not great, but it, it fixes the problem for now until I find a, a proper solution. Um, and then similar, similar stuff to this one. Then underneath that, we're creating another group. Uh, this has got a background of white. So if we just flip back to the design, which is uh, over here somewhere. So here we've got the, a group block with a background of white. You can see that's going to take up this, this uh, full width. And then inside that, we're going to put these elements. So uh, where's my code going? There it is. Uh, so you can see the background of white. It's uh, that. Sh no, we don't need that to be a full group because we're not having the content of it full. You, you may want to do that depending on what elements you're putting inside it, of course. Uh, and then again, we set a heading. This is a line left this time. It's a heading two. We've already got heading one. This is going to be a black heading. And again, we're putting the job title in. Um, and then. Uh, then we have a, I'll come back to this one in a second. Then we have a buttons, um, and then we have the button, which is the send resume button. You can see that these are the things I'm pre-populating. Send resume, mail to, is style outline, etc. So this is the important one here, because if we look at the design, we can see that we've got this section here I've highlighted, which is essentially paragraphs, but it's multiple paragraphs, okay? so. This brings me back onto the lock facility, which is the template lock, which I passed, passed over a second ago. So here's template lock. Now I've set this to true. Now what that means is that they can't change any of the layout, okay? So they can't add new blocks anywhere on this page and they can't uh, move those blocks around because that'll break the layout. So I don't want them to do that. So I'm setting this to locked to true so that the template that I provide is locked. And that works beautifully, except for this bit, because this bit is more than one paragraph. So I could I could put them a paragraph block in there, and then they could start typing, but they want more than one, and it wouldn't allow them to add more than one paragraph. So the way I've solved that is to add in this special group block, which has disappeared. Where is it? There it is. So I'm adding a core group block into there, and then I'm setting this attribute called template lock to false. So this particular group, is not locked and they can add in inside that group whatever blocks they choose. So they may well want to add headings, paragraphs, etc., maybe lists to output the job description. So that's how I actually done that and template lock solves that problem and it honors the fact that this template, uh, sorry, this group block is not locked and it allows you to put stuff inside it. So that's how that's done. Let's just have a quick look in the WordPress admin at how that looks as well. So if I go to jobs and click add new, you can see what happens here. So it creates a new job post. And here we go. Here's my template all set out and ready. So add title. We've got enter job title here. This is the sort of um, group block that I created with the centered things. If I scroll down here, this is the second one. And here is that special group block that is not locked. So you can see if I click on like the resume thing, I can't, I can't move this around and I can't actually add new blocks at the bottom of it. There's no inserter. This is, this is grayed out. I can't click it at the top here. But what I can do inside the group block is I can add a block. And now I can go and add any block. I can browse all the blocks and I can put them in there. So that allows the client to then add uh, the paragraphs and the content in this case to this particular block area. So this was a real revelation to me that allows us to really start to pre-populate those custom post types with the blocks that we want the user to have, giving them some control where we want them to have it and locking down the control where we don't want them to change it. So that was really, really important. Um, and it works really, really well. So you might be questioning and saying, well, how, how did I find out how to do this? Because if we look at the handbook page, 
it mentions nothing about that special group block that allows you to unlock it. So, and this was something that came up in a meetup that I attended online. I think it was the Cheltenham meetup. So well done to those people for running that, that, that meetup. And um, it was to have a look at the files called block.json. And let me explain what that means. So <clears throat> this is the WordPress install. And in the WP includes folder, we have a blocks folder. And in the blocks folder, uh, there's a folder for every block. So what I was looking for in here was the group block. And I thought, this is perfect. I can add a group, and hopefully I can allow them into it. And every block has a block.json file. So let's have a look at the group block one. And this tells you all of the attributes and things that this block supports. And brilliantly, it allows me to uh, pre-populate those things using that template um, uh, array. So you can see here, I found this attribute name called template lock and its options are all insert or false. So um, the template lock of all basically means that uh, everything's locked. Insert means that they can insert blocks, but they can't move existing blocks. And false uh, means nothing's locked at all, I believe. So I was able to pass a template lock into my array and, and make that group block uh, do that. Additionally, if we just go back to uh, my file again, which has got post types in, where's it gone? There it is. Additionally, you can see I had the same issue finding all of these things. How do I set all of these things and what can I and can I not set? And, and, and found this in a very similar way. So this is a heading block. So again, if I go and find the heading block in the blocks uh, folder, whoops, where's it gone? Uh, here it is, and open the block.json file, you can see that I've now got all the options that I'm allowed to set. Text align, I can set the content of that, that's like the, the text you see. I can set the level, I can give it a placeholder, I can set class names, I can set colors, etc, etc. So these block.json files are actually very, very useful. So if you haven't had a look in them, um, I'd, I'd, I'd urge you to do so. Obviously, I, I'd, I'd love this stuff to be documented better on the developer handbook, and I'm sure that will happen in time. Um, but you know, this is hopefully the video is going to help you do this. So, a really quick overview of how you can set custom blocks or block templates that, that give a custom layout on a specific post type, and that's locked in certain places and unlocked in certain places to give you that control uh, or give your client that control over each of those post types. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it useful. And if you've got any comments or questions, then please add them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And hopefully we can all make this uh, better as well if we can uh, contribute. So thanks for watching. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time on the next video. Thanks.